When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright So sometimes I'll end up feeding him um, just using a regular fork just because things get messy and he ends up throwing a lot on the floor and like I don't want it to go to waste. I just cut up the eggs to like, you know, bite size, small enough for him. And sometimes I will lay them out all separated. See, he wants to do it himself. Sometimes I'll lay it out all separated like that. But like I said, things start to get messy and he ends up you know, wasting a lot and like throwing it on the floor. So sometimes I will just end up feeding him. But most of the time he usually feeds himself. I'll usually put the pancakes down. The eggs are a little bit messier cause they're like so slippery, but he does really well feeding himself. So yeah, and then he'll have a little bit of um, water mixed with apple juice, just like a splash of apple juice and water. And then I'll also give him some of this. I don't have any fruit on hand. Like I don't have any fresh fruit anymore because I ran out. So I'll just give him a pouch that has some fruit in it um, after he has the pancakes and the eggs. But his favorite breakfast is pancakes and eggs. When we originally did baby led weaning, um, I would cut foods into like strips. I think I've shared the, um, the book that I read about baby led weaning, but now he's officially eating foods like chopped up into smaller bites. This is what he does. He ends up taking like multiple <laughs> at a time. Um, but he's trying to get the uh, pincher or yeah, I think that's what it is. The, the pincher grasp or pincer grasp where he's using more of his fingers instead of his whole hand. So he's getting used to that. Um, So now we are cutting up our foods into more like cube, smaller sizes for him to pick up. And he seems to like that a little bit better. So sometimes when he has like the longer pieces, he ends up biting off because now he has teeth. Um, the baby led weeding is good when they don't have teeth because they can kind of like suck on the foods more. But now that he has teeth, he's like biting big chunks. Um, so to avoid any choking or anything, we just put them into smaller but he's so good at chewing he does really well so yeah this is gonna be his breakfast I haven't made anything for myself yet I just had my cup of coffee which is pretty much cold now and he already had his bottle this morning so he'll usually have breakfast about an hour after he wakes up and then around the two two and a half hour mark he will after he's woken up um, He'll go down again for his first morning nap.
Okay, so I just put Kaden down and I just made the bed. I put my diffuser on. I just have Valor going right now. Um, just so I can get some stuff done. I gotta do laundry and whatnot, so. I have the washing machine going right now. I don't know if you can hear that, but yeah, just gotta get some chores done. Usually while Caden naps, depending on if it's his first nap of the day or his um, second nap, which is like midday, I'll usually do a Peloton ride, but because I'm feeling under the weather, I don't want to overexert myself um, because last time I did it, when I was feeling a lot worse last week, I literally felt like I was going to throw up um, and I felt horrible all day and it was really hard for me to take care of Caden, so um, yeah. If you didn't know, me and Anthony are sick. I think we just have a cold. Um, I He did get tested for COVID, so he is home this week from work just as precautionary. Um, but he's getting tested for work. He did that yesterday and we're waiting on results. I think we just have a cold. Um, my symptoms are mainly gone. Like I've, I've been feeling fine. I'm just still stuffy and have a little bit of a cough, but I'm feeling much better. I just don't want to overwork myself because I've been taking care of Caden. Anthony's kind of been isolating himself because he feels a lot worse so he's downstairs but um, yeah I'm just gonna get some chores done, clean up the house, um, do some of my work on the computer. I do have to mail some things out to um, some of my Young Living members um, from my team. I'm gonna mail out a little fall thing for everyone but yeah. Caden's up and he's just playing. Um, Anthony went to go to the grocery store and to pick up um, food and stuff for us. I'm gonna make some um, chili in the crock pot and I'm just like defrosting some stuff right now, but yeah, it's just gonna be a chill day at home making food. Come on, stand up. I wanna see you walk. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Stand up. Come on. Walk. Come on. Come on. Come on, walk. He literally walks all around the couch, all around the table. Come on. Stand up. Ready? Keep walking. Come on. Isn't it always when you want your kid to do something and you want to catch on video that they stop doing it? I shared it on Instagram before, but 
yeah, he's like walking on his walker really good. He just chooses not to when I want him to. So I really need to like make an area for him to play because this whole like gate situation, trying to block off the kitchen or the stairs is like not working out because yeah, it's just not working. So I need to figure out how to like get some sort of gate in the living room to like block off an area for him to play. But just cause it's dangerous. Like if I'm in the kitchen doing dishes or like cooking or whatever, like I, I cannot have eyes in the back of my head and it's been really hard. Fortunately, we don't really have like a playroom or like another room for him to play in besides this room, so. Yeah, we have a lot of stairs. I cannot wait to be out of this freaking house because the stairs are just so dangerous. Much, Even if he's upstairs in his room, if he even goes outside of his bedroom door, the stairs are right there. So it's like so nerve wracking. Like I can never have him by himself ever. It used to annoy me when people would be like, oh my God, just wait till they get to this age or you think it's bad now just wait till they get to this age and I never want to like rush like I never wanted to rush him to get to a certain point um like I really cherish every single stage but it is so freaking true like as cliche as it is it's so true what they say about like oh just wait for this just wait for this like it like it getting like worse in a way because literally like one of my best friends has a newborn right now well she's like two months i miss being able to like get so much done even though i thought i couldn't get a lot done with a newborn but looking back now it's like oh my god i could get so many things done because they just sleep all day or you can like put them in a swing or put them in a chair and they would just sleep for hours and just be in that one spot and now it's like completely different <laughs> like he is constantly going, constantly wants to be on the move, getting into everything. Like now it's even harder. Like now I feel like I really have very limited time to get anything done. The only time I have is when he's napping because that's when he's sleeping. And um, I'm wondering if we should knock down one of his naps because he usually does three a day. The first two are longer naps. They're about like an hour and a half to two hours each. Um, could be more than two hours, but it depends on the day. And then the third nap is usually like a cat nap. It's a lot shorter. Um, and that's like around dinner time, like 5, 5.30, could be 4.30, just depends on his naps. Um, but his third nap is usually before bedtime. So it's usually around five o'clock and it's not even like an hour long. I'm just wondering if he's ready to knock off that last nap and just have two naps a day but two longer naps so i'm probably going to talk to our um <laughs> i'm probably going to talk to our um sleep consultant we worked with her in the first few months and he was sleeping through the night like he, i mean he sleeps 12 hours a night like that's not a problem he sleeps enough throughout the night but i think he's supposed to have about four ish hours during the day sleep i don't know if it's four or five hours i forget but he's going to be nine months old so I feel like it's kind of time to knock off that third nap, but who knows? I just kind of go off of his sleep cues and whenever I feel like he's tired, or cranky, I'll put him down. Like I'm I pretty much know now how he is. I wanted to show this. I got these beanies from um little Bipsy. This is like a Instagram shop. Um they have such cute clothes and I do want to order some of their clothes but I really wanted to get these hats. Now I did get the bigger ones. I think these are for eight months to two and a half years. I mean I got them because I wanted him to grow into them. He's got like a small head. Like it's <laughs> his head is big but it's small at the same time. I, I don't know how to explain it. These are so cute. Um I think for him they would probably work better if they were folded. Um and I probably need to like break them in a little bit to make them more like slouchy like looking So yeah, these are oh, he's definitely pooping you stank You stanky Um, Yeah, so I'll show you kind of what it looks like on him. Come here, baby. Oh, he got stanky butt He got a stanky butt. It stinks No, 
Oh, they look so cute. See, like, it looks big right now because it's, like, slouchy, but it's kind of cute. Like that. Or, I know the tag's on. Hold on. Or you can do it like this, and it fits him a lot better. But he needs hats for the winter, so. <laughs> do you like it? You look so cute. You look like a little man. I like them. Because I can kind of get, like, both looks from them, and they will grow into his head, so. Yeah, little Bipsy. They have really cute clothes, like I said, but um, I ended up just ordering some hats because we were in need of some. And I've been trying to style some of Caden's outfits. I actually have a lot of clothes that I got him recently from like Carter's and um, where else did I go? I don't know if it was Target. I think it was Target and Carter's. Um, I, I meant to make an order on H&M, but when they had a sale, but then I missed the sale because they had like 15% off, so I didn't end up doing that, but I have a bunch of clothes from Carter's. Let me know if you guys would like to see that, or maybe I'll just show it in this vlog. I was actually thinking about doing like a full like haul of some clothes, but I've already washed everything and hung them up. I don't know if that's kind of stupid for me to do it now that I've already like washed everything and hung it up and took off all the tags, but... We'll see. Maybe I'll maybe I'll do it because I feel like it would be helpful. Like there's so much random things on the floor right now. Anthony's deodorant. Ooh. Now that Caden's eating like solids, like adult food, his poops smell so bad. Ugh. Stanky. Yes, I change my son on the floor. Ain't nobody got time for a freaking changing pad or you know changing mat changing table yeah i don't even have his changing pad on his dresser anymore because it oh, it's just so dangerous to like put him up there even if he's strapped in it just like freaks me out oh god so i just change him on the floor so it's much later it's like 5 30 mm. six o'clock we are now having dinner and I didn't even get to give Caden lunch today because he slept through his lunch. He had like a two hour nap this afternoon. I think he went down at like two something and woke up at like four. So he is now eating dinner and I just made him um, some of these meatballs and then these like little broccoli cheddar bites. So I just have to like pace him because he tries to like put so much in his mouth, so I'll just give him a little bit at a time. Um, but he is so hungry because he did not have lunch. And I am over here making some chicken chili for tonight. It is almost done. This has been going since um, this morning. Anthony went out and got some more things that I needed because I wanted to put like an onion and a pepper in there and I just didn't have everything. Um, I meant to show all of the ingredients, but I didn't get a chance to. So I did um, fro frozen chicken or like kind of thawed chicken. It was mainly frozen though. All the way at the bottom. And then I put some chicken stock, um, two things of beans, black beans and pinto beans. I think the pinto beans had some chili seasoning or like sauce. And then I did um, some frozen corn, like a small bag of frozen corn, a bell pepper, a half of a, a yellow onion, and then two chili packets, and then topped it with a block of cream cheese. And that is it. So it looks really good. I just like shredded all the chicken because it finally was cooked all the way through. And I'm just gonna wait until everything kind of thickens up. And that's what we'll have for dinner. So most of the time I do like to give Caden like something similar to what we're having just because it's so much easier. I mentioned these on my Instagram story. Um, you have food in front of you, honey. You want your juice? Here. So anyway, I mentioned these um, for this brand on my Instagram story. And this says it's for kids, but they can definitely be for babies that are eating solids. You just don't cook them, well, these especially, like you just don't cook them to where they can't be like mushed up. Um, but I got these mini meatballs, and he's had meatballs before, like my mom's made her meatballs and we've given them to him. He's had like 
pasta. Uh, and I actually got the veggie nuggets of this, but these are the broccoli and cheese. Um, they're gluten free, they have vitamins in them, and they're made with like uh, rice and potato flour coating. So they actually taste really good. Um, the veggie ones have like zucchini and spinach and kale, and it's it's good because it gets his veggies in. Um, I've tried giving him like just regular steamed veggies, and sometimes I will do that. Those steamed bags of like mixed veggies with like corn and peas and all that, and I'll usually do that sometimes. But these are so easy, so just trying to give you guys some ideas if you have babies that are eating solids, um, just don't try to complicate it. I mean, I know these are like frozen, but this Earth's Best brand is really good. They have actually, um, I've tried their oatmeal before for him and they have some really good foods. Also another thing that's helpful, I put this on the fridge so it gives me some ideas to give him for breakfast, lunch, and um, dinner, and then like some snacks. So you guys can get some ideas, but yeah, I just, I like I like to put I like to, sorry he's crying I like to just like write things down so that I can just visually see things and I'm like oh I have that in the fridge or oh I bought that the other day like I don't know it's just easy for me to when you're getting into feeding a kid and you're out of like baby food phase and like purees, this makes it a little bit easier. So just an idea. We are watching Yellowstone. We just started this um, a couple weeks ago. We're only on the seventh episode. Why is this not turning up? You have to use the other remote. That oh. remote is paired to the top TV. What remote? The TV remote. This is on Peacock if you have um, the Peacock app or whatever, but it's free. What are you doing? This around town? Everything this side works right now. All the way over here. Really, too. You're trespassing. Trespassing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, and I just put pan away on my temples because I have a headache. This is America. Yeah. 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 Yeah.